follow the finger. Right, Ford Transit Connect spear wheel. Now, spear wheel with suspenders under the, uh, the rear of the van, underneath the two rear doors or tailgate, whichever one you got. I have a selection of rather large uh, Allen's key. I've got Allen's keys. That is a 17. And that... It's a 14, I believe. Yes, it's a 14. Now, I've been out there with these two, thinking it was either that one or that one, but obviously too big, and the 14 mil is too big. So I decided to go out there with my 12 mil. 12 mil. Too small. So, mm, I wonder what size it is. 13. Ford, what are you doing? Oh... Just make it a, a standard size. You flipping Egypt. Uh, right, so I uh, was in need of a 13mm Allen key. So I thought to myself, how can I get around that? I haven't got a 13mm Allen key. I've got everything else, but I haven't got an 11mm Allen key either. Allen key either. Um, so I thought, right. And I looked through my Allen keys and I found a 8mm Allen key. No, I didn't. I found, yeah, I found an 8mm Allen key and a 5mm Allen key, which equals 13. So I tried that old trick by putting them next to each other. And it's only gone and worked, isn't it? Let's have a look. <clears throat> there we go. There is evidence of squirtature in there because well really I've I've put a load in there. So yeah there's my little tiny eight and my little tiny five and if I put that on there flat side on one side flat side on that side and turn it you can quite clearly see <coughs> we have arr, movement yeah yeah, so I'm going to carry on winding away with my makeshift Allen key, 13 mil. Oh. Mm. Right, I got rather bored with doing that for, uh, very quickly, actually. I've got so far with it, as you can see, and the tyre is it's pretty dropped down there, isn't it? But it, it's not on the deck yet. And once it's on the deck, you then have to negotiate uh, a safety strap that's strapped to it uh, to stop it just flying out the back if, if the uh, restraint breaks. I thought to myself, what would my mate Mr. Silk do in this situation? If it's a 13mm Allen key, a 13mm uh, bolt head would fit in it, wouldn't it? So I've tried that. Well, I haven't tried that. I've put it in my drill. Uh, thus, where are you? there so let's give it a try i need to film with the other hand and unscrew with that so i put it in there and i've wound that chuck in uh, rather well so let's let's put it on gear one so we don't go flying that's better and uh <laughs> Wow. I like that. That was a good idea, Paul, wasn't it? I, I got that telepathically from you when you weren't thinking about it. That's clever going, isn't it? Right, what we got under here then? 
Go on, you lot, get in there, because I can't see it. Right, well, that looks uh, rather skunked up, doesn't it? Let's see if I can get a... Arr. Where's me? Hey, I'm doing this through the... Oh, through the phone camera. Look, me. Oh, I've run out of juice, boys. Get it in there. Right, I'm gonna let that sit for five minutes and then uh, see what's going on. What is going on? Okay. Now I'm gonna have to watch this back in a minute because I can't now see the screen. I mean, it looks quite tidy underneath, doesn't it, this fan? It's not as if it's a, a flipping basket case. It's all right, that. Okay, right. I'm gonna have to call that a day. It looks like there's something the other side of the centre of the wheel, doesn't it? It bolted into it. I guess I'm gonna have to uh, loosen it somehow. Or can I pull the tire this way? Let's have a. Oh, I can. Okay. How far can I pull it? As far as that rope, that wire allows. So if I undo it a bit more, will that allow me to do it a bit more? Let's have a look at that. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Ford, uh, you have been redeemed. Oh, this wheel's dead, isn't it? <laughs> ah, sorry, that's my tow bar getting in the way. Ow, knees. Ow. Look. Yeah, that is. <laughs> that is US. Yeah, Kev, you can get a few more miles out of that, can you? Just up your street, then. <laughs> Where are we? Exelon 2000. Okay, so what we've got to do here, let's have a look at this. I think we've got to undo that. There's no way that's finger tight. There's no way. What's on the other end, then? Well, I'm just going to keep doing this until it gets... Oh, it's getting floppier. Getting floppy here, missus. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Now, don't tell me that that's supposed to undo from there, is it? Oh, no. No, no, we've got the brake clutch cable situation going on. Yes! Oh, wow. Ford, you have redeemed yourself. Shows how many Fords I've had in the past, doesn't it? I've had a Fiesta, and that's it, years ago. Yeah, well, we can quite safely say that that's tired. <laughs> I just made a joke. Hurrah! I've made a proper joke, a real joke. I must write that down. Well, that's great, isn't it? Okay, I need to give that a bit of lube. I'm reckoning. That's not too bad, is it? 18 years that's been under there. That's not bad at all. I might give that wire brush that thing and get under here with that blooming... Uh, what's it called? T261. That rust converter effort. Yeah, that wheel's going to the scrapyard, I think. Might just uh, save a part of it. Keep the new wheel original. <laughs> yeah, what I'm planning on doing, I want to take these four steelies off of there. Um, I will... I'm going to keep the set of four, but one of them will be under here as, as a backup because I have a uh, nice set of alloys to go on that need refurbing, admittedly. Yes, I am going to have a go myself at refurbing it because I can't afford uh, prices to get them refurbed this day uh, 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 in the future. And if it's something that I can do, it makes it look a little bit better. The wheels aren't bad, it's just where the nuts go. The five holes, they are proper lumpy, so I need to get in there with, with a round sanding bit and give it all that. But might be, might be an easy job, I don't know. They don't look very curved, but that's another story. So I've got new wheel nuts and the alloy wheels with winter tyres on, so it's, it, it's going the right way, isn't it? This time of year. Uh, kind of thing so yeah and I, and I have another set of alloys that I've got to go on now I, I, I was in two minds of what to do 
Now I ended up getting another set. And you know what it's like when you get offered a set of wheels for 60 quid with good tyres on. I don't care if my garden's full, I, I, I can make space for some more kind of thing, isn't it? Do you know, I thought I was going to have a right dog getting that out of there. I thought that would be seized. I, I thought there was like a, a threaded rod that goes down through, you know, something something like that. And that would be all seized and forgotten about. And oh my goodness me. But wow. What a cracking night, an idea that is, isn't it? Yeah, that just wants a little bit of a wire brush and a, uh, a bit of a, I better not say it, a bit of a, a, bit of a touch up. I was going to say something else then, but I might have some new new subscribers who are sort of family based. Hello guys, if that's you, uh, thank you for joining and uh, you're welcome uh, to uh, have a comment, suggest things that need uh might need uh, renovating restoring fixing sort of thing and if i've got that or I, someone's asked me to fix it i'll have a go right this is my day off i'm supposed to be sat under the parasol on in the back garden because this is this is the one and only summer day this year here in the uk it is today so I'm supposed to put my feet up to get over this last week because it has been a sausage doing all this stuff to the van uh, physically and mentally. Uh, my arms are hurting holding the camera up. <laughs> right, I need to go and get it washed again, don't I? Have something to eat. Right, thank you for watching. Uh, that's about as far as I'm going to go with that, really. Just getting the wheel off uh, out of there. Just seeing how it's done, yeah, myself, and then perhaps you guys just bought a transit van, connect van. Now you know how to take a the spare wheel off. If you get stuck with a 30 mil Allen key, just use a 30 mil head bolt in a in a drill. And if uh, if it spins in your drill, if that bolt spins in the drill and you can't get the chuck gun up tight enough, put two nuts. Oh my god. Yeah. Right, two secs. Sorry, sorry. Right, that was nice. Good neighbour of mine. Uh, across the road there. He get, bought me a big lump of honey. In its, uh, in its hexagonal thing. I can't, I can't think of certain words at certain times. Stuttering is in is ensuing. What was I doing? If you got a 13 mil bolt and, you, and it's spinning in your drill, put two nuts on the bolt and then bind them together. Put one spanner one way, the other spanner the other way, lock them together, and then that shouldn't work either. I'm just trying to help. What can I do? Right, catch you later, guys. Uh, a few short ones. Uh, pew! And then we'll do another long one uh, later on.